Hello everyone. Today we will learn a new lecture, Ethernet switching basics. We will learn a new protocol, which is Ethernet protocol. It works in layer two, link layer. And in this layer, an important device is the Ethernet switch. We will learn the working process of the Ethernet switch and also the Ethernet addressing. So first, we will give the overview of Ethernet protocol. First, for Ethernet protocol, actually you need to know that it is the most common communication protocol standard in current local area networks. Actually, it defines the cable types and signal processing methods that are used on the local area network. So now, if in your local area network, if you connect your host using cable, then you will use this Ethernet. If you uh, connect to your PC using wireless, then typically that is L2.11 Wi-Fi. So Ethernet is one of the most important protocol in data link layer in local area network. And traditionally, in the earlier Ethernet, actually all the hosts are connected to the to the cable, and they share the same broadcasting domain. Which means that if you transmit a packet, then all the other nodes can receive that kind of packet. And the traditional Ethernet works on the carrier sense multiple access collision detection mechanism. It means that they will hear the transmission of the other host. If there are transmission, they will keep silent. If there is no transmission, then they can transmit. So in that case, actually all these hosts cannot transmit simultaneously because they share the same broadcasting domain. Network performance is restricted. However, in recent Ethernet, they use this switch networking uh, system. This architecture solved the problem which exists in the early Ethernet. They use switch as the key devices uh, to replace the hubs. Um, as the hubs are the physical layer device, the switch actually is a link layer device. They can separate the traffic in different links and uh, using by using the switch, the transmission in this link will not collide with the transmissions in other links. So the performance of the network can be improved. Now introduce what is collision domain. We said that in early Ethernet, the transmission of host A will collide with the transmission of host D because they are in the same collide domain collision domain. And to solve this problem, actually CSMACD is proposed. CSMACD means carrier sense multiple access with collision detection. Carrier sense multiple access means that whenever a host want to transmit, they must first sense the channel. If they find that there are some data transmission on the channel, they will stop they will not transmit. They will wait until the channel is idle. And when it is idle, they to transmit. The CD collision detection means that when this host has already started transmission, it is still uh, listening to the channel. And if they find that there are another PC trying to transmit simultaneously, then they can detect this collision happen, and then they can stop their transmission to avoid such uh, collision so that the performance of the network can be improved and there are less collision happened. However, in recent Ethernet, when we use the switch, we can separate all these links into different collision domain. So here, by using this switch A, these three links can be separated into three different collision domain. So the transmission of host A cannot collide with transmission of host B. So actually they can transmit simultaneously. And similarly for B, they can separate these three links to be in different collision domain. So they can also transmit simultaneously. In that case, 
the network throughput can be dramatically improved by several times. We have another concept in Ethernet, which is broadcast domain. Although the collision domain is separated by using switch, however, the broadcast domain is still on the whole Ethernet. So for example, if it is in early Ethernet, the broadcast domain includes all of these hosts. So when host A transmits a broadcast packet, actually this packet can go through all the Ethernet to arrive host B, host C, and host D. And similarly for uh, current Ethernet using switch, when there is a broadcasting packet sent by host A, actually the switch A can broadcast them to all the outgoing links, and switch B can further forward them to others. Event uh, until they this broadcasting packets arrive the whole Ethernet. So actually, uh, both this early Ethernet and the current switch Ethernet are uh, all have this uh, broadcasting domain covered all of the network. Now let's introduce this uh, Ethernet network interface card. Actually, the network interface card is a very important component that connects the network devices to the internet or to the external network. The network device here can be a computer, can be a switch, can be a router. If we want to connect the computer with the, out, the internet, you must have this network interface card. And we can use this network interface card connected with a cable, and then the packet transmitted from other PCs or other devices can go into the network interface card, and then they can translate the bit streams into a packet and send it to the upper layer protocols, for example, the TCP IP, which is implemented in the software of the operating system of the computer. And then if computer want to send out some packet, they also need to send the packet through the uh, TCP IP network layer and then send to the network interface card and using this interface card to translate the packet into bit streams and then transmit out, transmit to the destination. So this network interface card actually is a key device used for the computer to interconnect with other network. Mm -hmm. Similarly, for the switch, they also have this network interface card. And actually, they have multiple network interface card because for switch, they need to have multiple interface to connect to multiple devices. So um, they can receive the pack, they can receive the bit stream from one device and then tra translate them into the uh, frames and then send to another network interface card. For example, send to this network interface card and then send to the other devices. So that is the concept of network interface card. So here actually we call this one as a network part, or we can call it the network interface or interface or part. So actually we have already talked about the IP address. Actually the IP address or the MAC address are all corresponding to one network port or one network interface. 